Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we have some couple of news uh, before going to the price chart. So the first thing is uh, about how what IMF has said about the inflation and it is pretty clear that they are talking about that the Fed and others should be prepared for to tighten the policy. Let me go through the quick uh, uh, headlines that central banks such as Fed should be preparing to tighten policy in case of inflation get out of control and the IMF warned it. So, and the Fed officials have started that primary weapon to fight inflation is hiking interest rate and the IMF said it largely concurs that inflation eventually will ease but noted that noted there is high uncertainty around this issue. So I, it, there is no similarity what IMF is saying and what Fed is saying and uh, this is an issue which has been lingering on and you know interest rate is something which the US government has unable to raised for the last decade it, it has done probably near to one percent but uh, then it slashed very quickly on the upside so there are a couple of reasons and i would say lots of reasons for that and if they uh, want to do it they would have done it to two or three percent at least uh, as far as the uh, tag of developed economy is concerned but it hasn't done that and the only way to make money is through stock market because that's how things work so either you choose debt you choose equity it is up to you so let's see how uh, the fed is going to move as far as the uh, ims imf's uh, report is concerned and how fed is going to move because understand one thing that uh, uh, us will never be in position and they don't want to disturb the stock market so that's the single most important factor and obviously if a fed is saying something uh, it doesn't matter what uh, the government is saying but even the government will not say anything about the stock market but if fed is saying something which is uh, not acceptable or which creates uncertainty in the stock market then it would be a problem and inflation is obviously it doesn't matter who is saying uh, you know what but uh, it seems the data itself is suggesting that we have inflation going forward even though even though it's a transitory one but uh, that we have to see whether it will be transitory or it, it will be a sticky inflation so it will definitely impact the market in the shorter term uh, in a situation because inflation does not generally means that the stock will fall down do not try to uh, you know correlate both the things in a direct way but it will definitely cripples the market in the short term and that we have to see which stocks are moving because some stocks are good as far as the inflation is concerned and some stocks will uh, you know move in an opposite direction that we have to see now another thing is uh, as you can see house approves a debt limit increase that will last through part of the december sends bill to biden okay so now because this has happened now uh, congratulations the debt ceiling is increased but uh, there is a trillion dollars infrastructure bill we don't know yet if this is going to move and this is going to pass then be ready for a tax increase or a tax hike for the various sections of society which include uh, individuals investors companies now that is yet to be factored in so this is an issue which uh, one should actually thinking about that what is going to happen uh, once uh, the you know the percentage hike as far as the tax is concerned will increase and uh, the stock market doesn't show any move um, according to that or related to that and also you have your uh, energy crisis which has been brewing and i don't know uh, you will see that uh, charts suggest that the oil rally is living on borrowed time i mean i don't know how you are going to analyze the chart and it is uh, 
completely up to the person who is doing that and obviously there are thousands of factors which impact the uh, price movement as far as the oil is concerned but you know let's see we will analyze the price chart of oil and we will see how this is uh, moving as far as the trend is concerned or how the oil is reacting so there are some uh, situations which is developing right now but market is unfazed literally they are moving in a price band and they are moving within a range that is uh, not to be discussed about okay we will uh, catch it up in the weekly uh, market report so let's see how they are going to tackle all these things right now whether you're talking about inflation or the oil because uh, oil is one thing <coughs> which will here to stay or the price is here to stay as far as the winter is concerned and if there is a downfall in the chart that we will see um, so i don't know about the tv version of that because i have my own charts and i have my own thinking about that so we will see which one is correct now about the stock movers uh, you will have your stock movers but this stock let's see uh let's go to the nasdaq at least we will have some big movers so okta inc we will go through that as well now we will go through one chart as well and how this is going to move so let's go to the price chart so let's go to the wti crude futures chart and this is the future chart of now this is the chart of wti crude and this is the monthly chart now if you are saying that uh, the stock price falls down okay so as you can see here it is actually a breakout first of all so we will we have to see uh, i mean so 78.12 this is wti crude future 78.12 was your resistance uh, so and it is currently holding at or above 80.42 so this is a technically a breakout now if i may draw a line like this okay joining 1 2 3 then also we have made a breakout beyond 75 or 76 dollars 75 dollars so this is also a breakout now when you are talking about it is buying a borrow time so as far as the chart is concerned you won't see anything like this because the next target that we are looking at here because understand this uh, the opec countries now have the opportunity in the past uh, one decade so they are not going to uh, you know ease this up in such an easy manner so the next target that we are looking at will be in between 108 and 116 dollars so let's see how the price will move and let's see uh, who is going to be right it is not about being right or wrong but this is about a serious problem which has been brewing and money the kind of money that has been involved because understand this commodity or commodities the basket com of commodities are or is everything or uh, we which we are using in our daily lives i mean almost most of the things so it is going to be a problem if uh, the price of oil and other commodities keeps on rising on the upside now one of its movers one of the price stock movers that we are going to discuss here is okta now okta so this is the price chart and it is saying that uh, we are in a consolidation right now but overall the overall price chart is quite positive as you can see over here and uh, yeah we are okay so this is the level or uh, this is the overall chart as as you can see uh, where your support lies so let me uh draw this chart so here we have your trend 
you will find your support at 219 dollars so this will be your support as well as your stop loss if there is a buying opportunity it will emerge from 219 dollars and if it falls below 219 dollars you need not to move further on the downside now on the upside the opportunity creates here will be in between 450 and 550 dollars on the upside because uh, we don't know how it's going to move uh, whether it will move like this or this that's why we are uh, taken a range over here and uh, that's what we are looking at so this is the range if it holds at or above 219 dollars but this is a very good chart i would say and uh, this is giving an opportunity because it is trading at the lower end of the range and more so over this is not a correction but a time wise consolidation that the stock is doing and one more level so beyond uh, 219 dollars there there will be a probability that the stock uh, may move up towards 200 dollars as well because this has been the range support uh, so in a simple world you can hold your horses till uh, 200 dollars on the downside and if it continues to move up from 219 dollars you know where to go so this is the end of the video thanks for watching